Hello again! Today I just wanted to quickly share with you a video from the F Modern Unity Essentials course, just to give you a quick teaser and an understanding of what it's all about. The course is designed to not only show you the basics of using F Modern Unity, but how to implement the two together and how to use F Mod's API with Unity's C Sharp. The following video is from the course, so I hope you enjoy it and get an idea for how the course would work. And if you'd like to learn more about it, there'll be links in the description underneath this video for you to check out. You can also sign up to the newsletter where I'll be sharing any and all information about out updates to the course, as well as a few tips and tricks for all you sound designers and music composers out there. So without any further ado, I hope you enjoy this video that shows you how to integrate FMOD with Unity. Hello and welcome to the first part of this course where in this video we're just going to quickly set ourselves up for the rest of the course. We're going to be downloading a game into Unity for us to use as we go along and we're also going to be setting up an FMOD project which will then be integrating with said Unity project. Before we start, there's just a few things I quickly want to mention to you. First of all, if you're watching this video and you're still considering this course, uh, it might be worth you following along with this video, downloading the 3D game kit into Unity, which is the package we'll be using to add audio to, just to make sure that you can download the game kit and it works nice and smoothly for you, as well as set the project up in FMOD, uh, just to make sure everything works on the technical side. This should hopefully give you a good feel and a good understanding for how the rest of the course will work, just in case you're still not sure whether it's for you or not. Another thing to mention is that if you are following along with this course, it might be worth checking which versions of both FMOD and Unity you'll be using. So I'll be using FMOD version 2.0 as well as Unity version 2018.3.10F1. Now FMOD in particular is worth checking out just because there was a major update between versions 1.10.10 and version 2.0. For example, some of the API codes that we'll be looking at in this course did change between two versions. Don't worry if you are using an older version of FMOD, however, I will be covering any of the changes to FMOD's API that were made between these versions, as well as the layout and the interface of the program itself. So hopefully, no matter what version you're using, you should be able to follow along and get everything you need from these videos. Great, with that out of the way, it's time for us to jump straight into things. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Unity, and we're going to create a new project. So let's click the the new tab up in the top right corner. Now you can call your project whatever you want, but for me, I'm going to call mine 3D Game Kit, and then in brackets, Unity Project. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are using a 3D project and nothing else. It's also worth checking where you're going to be saving your project to so you can find it whenever you need it. Once you've done all that, click create your project. So I'm just gonna wait for my project to create itself and I'll get back to you when it's ready. Nice one, and now we're inside our empty 3D Unity project. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is find that game we'll be using to implement audio to and download it. So you're going to want to find your asset store tab and click on that. Then in the search bar, you're gonna to want to search for the 3D game kit and it should look like this one here. So click on that, then scroll down and find the section that allows you to download it. Now for you, it might say download or import, but because I've already downloaded this before, it actually says update. But either way, we're gonna click on that. It's also worth checking before you download that you have enough space on your hard drive. Uh, so just come up to here where it says total file size to check that. And also, as we mentioned earlier, make sure you've got the right version of Unity. Once you've downloaded the 3D game kit, you now should have an import button ready for you to click. So click on that. So now we just need to wait for this project to decompress. Uh, you may have had a warning message like I got here. That's just suggesting that you import this project into a blank 3D Unity project, which is what we've done. Next, you should see a window such as this one, import Unity package. Now this is basically asking uh, which assets you'd like to import. Now we want to import everything. So let's make sure we click all and then click Import. Now don't worry too much if all that importing took quite a long time for it to set itself up. There are a lot of assets for uh, your project to download, so it will take um, about an hour maybe, depending on how fast your computer is. But once that's done, what you wanna do is come to the Project tab. You wanna click on the 3D Game Kit folder, click on Scenes, then Start, and you should be loaded into the first scene of the game. Here we are, and if I just quickly click on the Scene tab here, 
you can also see the scene in our editor. Now, in order to make the game run a little bit more smoother on your computer, the first thing I'd recommend you do is go into Edit, click Project Settings, and then click on the Quality tab, and then change the quality from Fantastic to Performance. And this is simply going to remove some of the extra lighting and graphical fidelity of the game, just to make it run a little bit more smoother. Once you've done that, I'd recommend giving the game a play, just having a listen to all the sounds and the music in the game, and get a feel for how the game actually works. Once you've done that, we'll then need to disable the audio from the Unity engine. So what we're gonna do is come up to edit again, go project settings and click audio. And then where it says disable Unity audio, we're just going to click on the tick box there. And this will basically mute all of the sounds you can hear in the game, which allows us to re-import all the audio through FMOD. So the next thing we need is an FMOD project. Now underneath this video, I'm gonna have links to a file you can download. It's a zip file and it will contain an FMOD project with all of the audio from this game kit already inside of it, ready for you to use, which will save you taking the audio from this project and importing it into a blank FMOD project. I'll have two versions, one for FMOD 2.0 and one for FMOD 1.10.10 if you're using the versions before 2.0. I recommend once you've downloaded them that you store them somewhere safe in your computer so you can find them. Now for me, if I click on my file explorer and go to my documents page, I'm going to click FMOD Studio, and this is where I've got those zip files. So as you can see, these are the two files, one for version two and one for version one. I'm going to open up the version two one uh, because I'm using FMOD version 2.0. Once you're inside the project, you can either click the Assets tab on the left here or hit Control-3 on your keyboard if you're on PC or Command-3 if you're on a Mac, and you can access the audio bin where you'll be able to see all the audio files within this project. If you want, click on a couple and just test you can hear them. So there we go, I can hear mine perfectly. Now you don't have to do this, but what I'm going to quickly do is click Save As and just create a new project with a different name inside my FMOD Studio folder, just to separate it from the two blank projects I've got here. So I'm just gonna call mine 3D Game Kit brackets FMOD project and save it like that. Next, we're gonna to want to integrate our FMOD project with our Unity project. So if you haven't already, I'm going to have a link underneath this video to the FMOD website where you'll be able to download the integration package. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click download and you'll be brought to this page here. Make sure also that you have an FMOD profile and that you've signed into it, otherwise you won't be able to access this page. Then let's click Unity Integration and we're going to need to select a version. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using FMOD 2.0, so I'm going to want to make sure that version two is selected and then I'm going to hit download. So once it's downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to locate it in your computer and double click on it, making sure that you've also got your Unity project open and ready to go. So I'm gonna click on it here, and you should see that the package is preparing to be imported. Next, you'll be brought to another import page, and again, you want to make sure you've clicked all so that everything gets imported, and click import. Once that's been imported, you're then going to want to click on the new tab you'll have at the top of your Unity project, labeled FMOD, and click edit settings. And then in the Expector tab, you're going to want to come down to where it says Studio Project Path. So what you're going to want to do is click the Browse button and you're basically going to want to locate your FMOD project that we created earlier. So for me, I know it's in my Documents folder, it's under FMOD Studio, and it's 3D Game Kit FMOD Project. So I'm gonna click on that and click on the FSPRO file. Now once you've done that, the error will be gone, but we'll have a new one that's appeared just underneath the Studio Project Path. This is basically saying that there's no build data associated with that project, and if there were any sounds or events created in that project, it currently won't be able to play them in Unity. So to fix this, let's go to our FMOD project. We're going to go to the File tab at the top, and we're going to click Build, which will build what's called a bank file. Alternatively, you can just hit F7 on your keyboard. And if we go back into Unity, you can see the error is gone and we've got a load of more settings we can edit if we wish. And with that, that's everything we need to do to set up both our FMOD and our Unity projects to work together. Now, if you haven't purchased the course, I hope you found this helpful and a little bit more insightful. But if you have, I hope you're ready for the first actual lesson, which will be all about the basics of the C-sharp coding language within Unity.